everyone. Thanks for joining me today. Today I want to show you how to use the app Eye Ornament. This is a really great app for drawing in symmetry, for drawing symmetrical designs, and for drawing mandalas. It has a lot to offer, but today's video is going to be all about just getting started, opening up that app, figuring out what's in front of you, and getting yourself drawing. So let's get into it. So I'm going to open the Eye Ornament app, and it's going to open up into this black screen with a side panel with all of your tools on it. Now, it can be a little daunting at first because you're thinking, okay, what do I do? Where do I start? You could just start drawing. Let's choose a, a color and you could start drawing and you can use multiple colors, which is really cool. But if you're like me, you want to know what's happening on the screen and how do I get the look I'm looking for? So the first thing we're going to want to do is play with our background. I like um, a white background. Now I do like to use the black background when I'm creating white designs, but initially I'm going to get you into using how to change the color of the background and then how to get up your symmetrical patterns. So we're going to go into the setting gear. It brings this window up and you want to go into this little icon with the two stars. Now here's your backgrounds. It gives you some set colors and it also gives you some textured colors and this is where it shows up. So initially it's black. We could just choose the white and we get a white background or we can slide our little slider all the way up to the top, which also gives us a white background. It also gives us this color wheel. So you can change the color, anything that you want. And if you slide her back down, you get black, slide it back up, you get the color you've chosen. So to get back to white, we'll choose the white. So that gives us a nice white background to work with, but I still want to know these over here are called wallpapers. I still want to know if I'm going to start drawing, what sections am I drawing in? So let's go back into our little gear icon and we want the actual gear icon at the top. And over here we have show symmetries and fundamental region. So the show symmetries, we're going to turn those on. Let's turn them on full. You can choose full or faint. And then the fundamental region, we can also turn those on full. So the, the symmetries are about mirroring and glide reflection. The fundamental region is the region within only one repeat happens. So there are a lot of great information uh, sections on this app. You can find them by going into the tip icon and it runs you through I'm at 54 there, but it runs you through 54 different tips on how to run this. So that's kind of cool. And then you can also go into the home button, which is this little light bulb here is going to bring me up another toolbar. There's another toolbar just popped up up here. This M that takes you into a whole section on explaining the symmetries and you can walk your way through all the different things there. And it actually gives you really cool little interactive activities to help you understand the way that the symmetries are working. So it works through translations, glide reflections, reflections and rotations. Hit this home key and it'll take you back to your canvas. So there's lots you can learn on it, but if you just want to get going, that's what I'm showing you today. So hit this little uh, light bulb and I'll get rid of that little toolbar on the side. And if you want to get rid of this big toolbar while you're drawing, there's three little lines here. Just hit those and it slides to the side, hit them and it comes back. So now we're going to go back in and I've shown you how to get your symmetries up and your fundamental regions up. You're not seeing symmetries on this one because it's, it's the most basic wallpaper, but let's say we go to a complicated one like this. Look at how many symmetries have shown up there. So it gives you lots of different in dotted lines mean uh, one thing, solid lines mean another thing. So there's lots going on there. So now we're going to go in and let's say you wanted a, a black background or a different color. I'm just going to show you, you can still have the symmetries up. If I wanted those both to be faint, they turn into gray lines and I can even get rid of the fundamental regions because the symmetries pretty much cover that. And I can get rid of the symmetries altogether. Let's say we're going to go in and choose our black wall paper again, or black background. Let's go into our symmetries and we'll bring those both back. See how they're all colored? So no matter what colored background you're working on, your symmetries are going to show up. 
in a way that you can see them. See how they're still all there? So I like my symmetries on because I like to know where to start my drawing and where it's going to possibly show up. It's always a little bit of fun, like a kaleidoscope. You never know quite what you're going to get, but at least I know where I'm starting. So we're going to go back in to our gear icon and I'm going to turn my symmetry back down to faint. The next thing I want to show you is the brush. So this could take up a whole lesson on its own, but I'm just going to get you started here. So we're going to use um, each of these influences, size, saturation, brightness, opacity, and hue can all be controlled with one of these time, length, manual, tilt, or pressure. So what you want is just right now the size to be controlled by the pressure, and we're going to keep the effect strength right around the middle. If you want to reset it, there is that possibility here. And I'm going to turn that off. And now I can get started drawing. So I'm going to choose black for just a basic. Another thing I want to show you over here, this is a manual slider. Even though I've got pressure chosen, I can manually choose the width of my brush over here. And down here, I have the blur. So it's hard to see because it's black. So let's say if I went with the white, see how I can see my stroke. So let's leave it around there. And this blur, it softens the edges. So if I want a super crisp brush, I bring it right down to the bottom. If I want to soften my edges, you know, so the pixelation doesn't show up as much, I kind of go up here a little bit. Now the next thing um, you'll notice is that this right here isn't a pure white. That's okay because you're on a white background. So if you were going with a black background, you could make this pure white by changing one of these. So if I just click on them, it's going to tell me what it is. Saturation, brightness, and opacity. So my saturation will bring my colors down to more of a pastel-y kind of look. It takes them down. It mutes them a little more. I do like them to be a little on the less saturated side. And down here, this brightness right here, the brightness isn't all the way to the top. If I take it to the top, see how that it might not pick up on the camera, but these all got quite a bit brighter and my white became pure white, which is what I'll want if I'm going to draw with a black background or a colored background. So now that you've got all your colors going, we're just going to draw something simple with a black and maybe not such a complicated wallpaper. So here we have, let's zoom in. I have a reflection line and I have my outline of my of where my design will fall. Now I don't know if you can see on that line I do have some blur so I'm going to take it back to a crisp line undo that and when I draw so in this square I only have that one repeat and in this square I have the repeat but it's reflected on the dotted line so you learn about these symmetries by using them and I can go to different symmetries and it's going to show me what that one stroke will do in all the different symmetries. So see how it keeps changing it up and the symmetries get more complex as you go down the line. And then you also have the choice of a Mandela. So that one tells you where that stroke would be on your symmetrical lines. You can choose inside the Mandela, you can choose different sections. See, I can choose 12, I can choose six. So that's fun. And I can also choose a mirrored or a rotational. So those are some basics to get you going. So we're going to go back in. I'm going to take that away. I'm going to go back in and show you just a fun little design in here. I'm going to use black. I'm going to bring my stroke down a bit and I'm just going to draw a simple flower. Now I've got my little black flower. Let's say I wanted to erase. I can either use white because that's the color of my background. But if you've got a colored background and you don't have that color up here because you just have the 12 colors, you just use the eraser tool, which is right here. And the eraser tool will do the same thing. It'll just erase away the pen that you had. And if I zoom out, that little flower has repeated all throughout my design. If I want to draw without this in the way, just move it to the side. But I like to have it there because I tend to, cho to choose different tools as I go. One more thing with the symmetries here I want to show you. I'm going to go, um, I want this toolbar to kick click back in. So I'm going to use the light bulb. 
So this on this toolbar right here, you're going to see this little honeycomb right here. I can turn that on and off. It makes my fundamentals a little darker and it turns them off. Now it's hard to see because I have everything on there. So if I went back into my settings and I turned off my show symmetries, now you can't see where the symmetrical lines are or the fundamental regions. But if I go in here and I click on my honeycomb, it's going to show me you my fundamental regions. So that's kind of handy if you don't want it in your drawing, but you want to keep bringing it back in just to see where you're at, you can turn it on and off there. So that's a handy little tool as well. So now you know the basics of getting started in this app. We'll go over much more of this in future videos, but for now you can just enjoy getting yourself drawing. Thanks so much for joining me in this tutorial and we'll see you again.